Welcome back to another delicious episode of Messing with Matt, and happy National French Friday. Now, if you've ever been to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gone to Kennywood Park, you know all about the potato patch fries. So today I'm going to teach you an easy way to make some homemade fries, and we're going to load them in the style of the potato patch fry. So get ready to roll up your sleeves. It's about to get messy. These loaded fries are smothered in cheese sauce and bacon. To make an easy toaster oven bacon, be sure to check out my recipe in the link below. In the meantime, we're going to start on our fries. Be sure to pre-wash your potatoes to remove all of the dirt. Rusted or Idaho potatoes are best for making french fries. You can choose to peel your potatoes or leave the skin on. Then you're going to cut it into quarter inch julienne strips. Rinse your fries in water, then dry them off on a paper towel or a tea towel. Place the fries in a single layer onto a cookie sheet or a cutting board and put that into the freezer for about 10 minutes. Pour frying oil, such as vegetable oil, into a large frying pan or pot. There should be about three quarter to an inch of oil in the pan. You can save the oil you use up to four times, and I usually cool it, then put it into a glass jar or a metal water bottle. Heat up your oil to 350 degrees, warm up your cheese sauce, and dice your bacon. Now, no one really seems to know the true origin of the french fries because both Belgium and France lay claim to being the first to deep fried potatoes into the delicious crispy sticks that they are. However, it was the US military serving in World War I who were the first to call them French fries. Once your oil has reached 350 degrees, you're going to carefully add your cold French fries. Cook the fries until they have turned a golden brown. Be sure to carefully rotate the fries while frying them for an even cook. As you finish cooking your fries, remove them from the oil and put them onto a wire rack on a cookie sheet and then sprinkle them with salt or steak seasoning. If you're going to be making additional batches of fries, you can put the already completed fries into the oven at 400 degrees to help keep them crispy. Once your fries are done cooking, it's time to plate them and load them up. Top them with cheese sauce and bacon. And there you have it, homemade loaded French fries, just in time for National French Fry Day. Do you like this recipe? Keep up with my social media accounts for all of my latest delicious dishes. Happy National French Friday, everyone. I'll catch you on the next episode of Messing with Matt.